how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria Let's Play. In the last episode, we attempted Plantera with varying results. Well, I say varying results, the result was in fact the same. Um, we failed. So then, here's what we're going to be doing in today's episode in terms of Plantera attempts. We've got the Blade Staff back out. All right, there it is. Nine summon damage ignores a substantial amount of enemy defense. If I was to go ahead and team that with the legendary Durendal, in addition to the Flask of Eichel and the various buff potions we've got going on here, I'm feeling like we might stand a decent chance of being able to do this. Or at least... I certainly hope so, my friend. So, if you guys are excited for today's action-packed episode to come, then please do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Of course, if you do want to go one further with your support, you can use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get a discount when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. So then, do you want to know the good thing, my friends? Do you want to know the good thing? In the last episode, we went ahead and created ourselves a whole bunch of little growth lines in our jungle over by the Plantera area in an attempt to get Plantera bulbs to spawn. And what do you know? There's one in the arena. Literally perfect. <laughs> Question. Do we have a sharpening station anywhere? You know what? I feel like I've asked that before and I don't think we had one. Uh, the only thing is, if we did have a sharpening station, we'd be able to increase our armor penetration, which would actually benefit both of the blade staff and the Durendal. Actually, no, I think it would only benefit the Durendal, because it only does melee damage. Or melee armor penetration, more to the point. I mean, I'm kind of figuring that if you could put a flask of Vicor and use that with a whip, I'm kind of assuming that we'd be able to go ahead and use a sharpening station in conjunction with this as well. At least... Again, I'm hoping that that's what's going to be the case. Ho oh ho! I knew that I had one next to a base somewhere, so all I did was start looking on the minimap next to our little base areas, and what do you know? There is indeed one, and it's up at Dead Island. So, let's go grab it, my friend. There you are, you beautiful fella. Lovely, lovely, and lovely. All right, so by default, we could go ahead and have five minions, which I would say is a pretty all right. We can bump that up to six with the usage of a bewitching table. All right, sounds like my little dudes are going to work, which is beautiful. I'm actually going to deactivate the peace candles there just so we have ourselves another buff slot. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, nothing else realistically can be disabled. All right, ladies and gents, uh, so there is the sharpening station. We'll go ahead and activate that. We'll activate all of our buffs as well. And we'll see how we're looking here. Let me go ahead and do a little bit of zoomy, zoomy, outy, outy. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is feeling pretty good so far. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Plantera. Let's give this a really good shot. Here she comes. All right, yeah, freaking son of a gun. Okay. So far, so good, I would say. Health absolutely draining away. Well over a thousand damage per second, which is uh, pretty decent, I would say. Uh, it is, of course, the second phase where we might go ahead and uh, face some troubles. But uh, he's hoping that that doesn't wind up being the case. If we could do a slightly better job of avoiding the spiky balls... Oh, fuck! Oh, man, I actually managed to avoid all of those. That's actually kind of amazing. All right, okay, looking good. We get ourselves a little bit more health back here. Be careful not to get cornered, ideally. Okay. Ooh, getting a little bit cornered. Oh, I know, we got knocked about there a little bit. Okay, come on, come on, Pythonator. Come on, Pythonator, half health. 7,000 health left, my friends. 7,000 health. We could actually have this. I think we do have this, ladies and gentlemen! Plantera! <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, whoever said that the blade stuff can't be used this late in the game. Oh, that is fantastic. It was still a close fight. I'll grant you that. That was still a close fight. But we got there. We did it. The blade staff and a whole bunch of buffs was enough. I didn't even have my Avenger emblem on, guys. 
I didn't even have an Avenger emblem on, and we still managed to do this thing. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, if that doesn't deserve a like on the video, then I don't know what does. I think that's absolutely fantastic. We have absolutely sprung back since the last episode. And to say that I'm feeling good about that is understatement of the century. Like, there's no other way to describe it. Uh, one thing I do want to do, though. There we are. I just wanted to drain that water away because I'm pretty sure that would affect the ability for a plantera bulb to spawn back in. Although I could be wrong. I don't know. All I do know is not only did we take down Plantera, I did notice it, by the way. I did notice it. We actually have the Master Mode drop as well, would you believe? The Plantera Seedling summons a newly sprouted Plantera. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm feeling good about that. So, I mean, strictly speaking, aside from if we wanted to try and get ourselves a trophy... We really don't need to go ahead and take down Plantera again. So there we are, my friends, progressing once again through the boss ranks. Feeling pretty good, my friends. Ladies and gentlemen, let's open up the treasure bag. There's the temple key. There's the pygmy staff. And what do you know? We actually have ourselves a spore sack and a grenade launcher. We now have the ability to open up the jungle temple door and therefore use our teleporter to be able to get ourselves down to the jungle temple real quick like so the spore sack pretty much is going to go away straight away here the plantera seedling of course is going to be going in our little collection chest with all the other master mode drops of epicness yeah look at that bad boy what we're going to do is we're going to head into the jungle temple we're going to hopefully grab ourselves a solar tablet and what we're going to do ladies and gentlemen is actually going to purposely activate a solar eclipse. So, remember of course, my friends, if you have yourself a pygmy staff in your inventory, I do believe what that means is you can go ahead and buy the tiki armor and various other bits and bobs from the witch doctor. Yeah! Alright, very cool. We've got the Hercules beetle here as well. If we get ourselves the, uh, what was it, the papyrus scarab? Or the necromantic scroll? I can't remember where we get the necromantic scroll from. In fact, no, yeah, there is the pumpkin moon, isn't it? There's the full tiki armor, ladies and gentlemen, if we really wanted to. We could chuck that on right now. And if I was to go ahead and uh, take off all of my buffs here. So we've got the hallowed armor here. This is increased minions by one. Okay, none on that one. Uh, and none on that one. Eh? You're telling me I can only have four minions with this? Huh. I think the only reason I can have five is because of the pygmy necklace here. So let's take this off, right? Uh, each of these increases minions by one. So that's a base of four. Uh, increases max number of minions again. All right, real quick. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, five. Okay, so we can have five on that one. We can have four on the other one. But we can bring that up to six. With the usage of our pygmy necklace, if we had ourselves a summoning potion and a bewitching table, we can bring that up, ladies and gentlemen, to eight minions. The only thing is, of course, we lose the ability to be immune after striking an enemy. Right, let's check out our damage profiles here. So we've got nine summon damage. This brings it up to 10, so it is, in fact, an upgrade. I'll tell you what, my friends, if we really wanted to go for a full-on damage build, we could go ahead and buff up the Hercules Beetle with a little bit of menacing, because then we'd be doing 19% increased damage, man. Do you know what? Just for the sake of, you know, finding out, we're going to see just how much damage we can actually put on our summoner class here. That does mean taking off the uh, Shield of Cthulhu and various other bits and bobs, because I really do want to see just how much damage... I can truly get out of my uh, my blades, okay? So let's go ahead and put the pygmy stuff away. Uh, and, well, actually, uh, yeah, we're looking pretty all right. All righty, Durnok. We are looking for menacing and not really anything else, to be honest with you. Oh, wow. Top tier reforges, but none of them were menacing. Ah, uh, all right. We're looking for the blue rarities. Warding. Come on, man. Violent? Armoured? Come on! Well, do you know what, my friends? There's one surefire way of getting money, and that's events. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves a solar eclipse. Wow. Okay, that's pretty significant. 113 summon damage, 9 summon tag damage. Wow. 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh man, we're going to be able to do a serious amount of damage with our loadout here. Hey, and would you look at that? We don't even need to open it. But we're still going to. Yeah. All right, very cool. So, uh, if we have ourselves the plan out, then what I can go ahead and do is detect all the things. Yeah. Very cool, eh? Uh, right, we are in need of a solar tablet. All right, well, believe it or not, that's actually all of the solar tablet fragments that we need. I'm pretty sure it's eight. So, let's get ourselves back to base. And as I mentioned before, we're going to get this party started. Yep, there we have it, my friends. Solar tablet, eight solar tablet fragments. Very, very good. Oh, cool. Getting a black belt. Awesome. I'm using this knight to try and get myself some more armored cave fish. Because, would you believe, I've actually run out. Uh, and I need them in order to make myself endurance potions. Ha! Ah, we just inadvertently got a quest fish. <laughs> I didn't even know that that was the quest for today, man. All right. All right. Our inadvertent fishing quest. What are we going to get for it? A weather radio and some high-end bait. Sure. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, buffing up and in the solar eclipse. So let's zoom on out here. <laughs> okay. I'm excited and absolutely dreading this at the same time. Uh, all right. We'll have a little bit of that so we can maybe turn up the ante just a little bit here. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are. The full solar eclipse. What exactly are we going to get from this? I am hoping many, many things indeed. Maybe every single drop you can even get. Maybe the nail gun. We've got a nail guy right here. Yeah. We're absolutely uh, surging through this. Doing damage. Feeling good. Yeah. And look at all that money absolutely rolling in as well. You love to see it. I don't know about you guys, but you love to see it. Two gold coins. Uh, make that three. Make that a Neptune shell. Make that five gold coins. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Those nail guys do over 200 damage per hit. 200? Holy crap! That's a lot, man! <laughs> oh, I'm so getting spawn killed here. Oh, gee whiz. All right. Uh, not looking good, baby. Not looking good. All right. Let's have a little bit of this. Uh, how exactly is we are going to be, you know, focusing these guys down? Uh, remains to be seen. I do need to rather get rid of this uh, nail guy, though, because he does an extortionate amount of damage. Like, seriously. Oh, uh, uh, we're going to be so careful, though. Uh, no, no, no. The nail guys do too much damage. Oh, God. Jesus. I have no health again, guys. That nail guy does an inordinate amount of damage. He's got 12,000 health as well. Oh, there's an eyesore according to the creature detector. I'm probably going to die again. Uh, right, let's do a little bit of focusing here. Yeah. In fact, no, focus on the nail guy. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Ha ha ha! Ah! Another death! No! <laughs> well, there's my idea of all of the buff potions lasting this whole freaking shaboodle out of the window. Ah, oh, man. Not cool, baby. Not cool at all. Right. No! No! I'm not, I'm not getting spawn cap this, sir! No! Ah! No! No! No, 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 calm yourself, no, 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 ah! guys, this is actually really difficult, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is actually really annoyingly difficult, come on, man, ah, okay, come on, come on, respawn me already, darn it, <laughs> no, I'm getting spawn camped, I'm getting spawn camped, this is it, I'm getting spawn camped, uh, if I could potentially just have a, no, I just want a second. Just give me one second. Come on, dude. I'm trying to pick these things up so I can put them on the roof and then be able to actually buff when I get back, man. This no guy's literally going to spawn camp me to high hell. It's not happening. It's not happening. I'm, I'm dead. Oh, okay. Rip editor me. 
editing in all of these death counts. Well, when in doubt, ladies and gentlemen, just go ahead and continuously uh, focus your blade stuff on the little nail guy down here. And just sort of hope for the best, I guess. Good lord, that nail guy just won't die! Die, damn it! Seriously, this nail guy! Okay, he's finally dead, and he did indeed drop a nail gun. Okay, good-o! Right, we might have a tiny bit of respite here. Oh, jeez! No, no, not at all. No respite for your boy. If I could have another moth on spawn in for a broken hero sword, that would be glorious. Damn it! <laughs> oh, no! Another nail guy is coming! No! <laughs> Please go away! Honestly, I genuinely believe that Mothwons are easier to take down than the freaking nail guys in Master Mode. This is ridiculous. Ah! Oh. Oh, we got us also a butcher's chainsaw. Oh, no! Not another nail guy! Ha! Oh, this guy is so annoying. Hey! No! Deadly spear. No! No, 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 no! Hey! There's a death sickle on the floor. Very good. I do like seeing death sickles on the floor. Come on. Now, if only I can get it without dying horrifically, we might be in for a good time. Oh, yeah. Another butcher's chainsaw. For God's sake! Can you please just give me a second to think? Oh, well, there goes the solar eclipse. I don't know how it is possible that we only got one moth on spawn in through that entire event, but, um,. There you have it. We only had one moth on spawn in throughout the entire event. Bit weird. Anyways, we've got ourselves the uh, Death Sickle, we've got the Neptune Shell, we've got a Moon Charm, we've got a Butcher's Chainsaw, the Butcher's Apron, the Nail Gun as well, yeah. Toxic Flask as well, and the rest of it is either cosmetics or duplicates. Alright, that's not a bad little run. Certainly lots of deaths. I mean, that's, you know... <laughs> Oh, but, uh, yeah. Guys, we're not doing too bad. We've managed to go ahead and take this thing down. And things are not looking too bad. If I look at that, there is yet another nail gun on the floor. Okay, right. Question. Can we get ourselves a bunch of our friggin' money back? That would be amazing. Uh, right. 81 gold coins. You know what? That's not overly bad, I would say. I still do want to try and get menacing on our Hercules Beetle, though. Now, I know that we're probably going to wind up just combining it later down the line uh, with some other accessories, but I still want to try and get menacing. I do really want to see just how much damage we can get as summon a loadout to do. I think once we go ahead and uh, try to see just how much damage we can actually do with our Tiki Summoner damage loadout, I'm probably actually going to switch class, and I'm actually going to switch class to melee because i feel like running the death sickle for a little while my friendos it is a beautiful weapon and one of the all-time og weapons as well so i am still expecting some decent stuff out of it at the very least okay well we got three percent increased damage i mean you know that's not nothing is it so yeah we've got a grand total of 18 percent increased damage with our hercules beta so we're going from 12 damage there up to 13 yeah, not too bad, eh? Not too bad. Okay, if I was to take off well-fed, does that decrease it? No, it doesn't. We're still at 13 damage. Wow. See, that's the thing. Every teensy bit of damage with this weapon here is multiplied by the amount of minions you have. So, for example, an increase of one damage is actually an increase of seven if you have seven minions, for example, like I do now. So, yeah, it is worth really trying to go for damage with the blade staff, in my opinion. But anyways, my friends, it is time to wrap up the episode. A stupidly action-packed one. I'm sure you guys would agree. Full of highs and um, deaths. Uh, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Let's go and do the comment of the day to wrap up the episode. And for today's episode, the comment of the day comes from Ryan Arnold, who says, Hi, Python. Love the videos. In order to improve your quality of life for this playthrough, I think it might be a good idea to get a flying mount like the Black Spot or Broomstick. Love your work. Keep it up. Hey, thank you so much for the kind words and indeed for the suggestions. And you are absolutely right. We definitely should go ahead and get ourselves a flying mount. I mean, the one that I could probably get get more easily might be the black spot have we even taken down the pirates in this series yet 
we're what, 37 episodes into the series? And I don't remember us ever taking down the pirates. I feel like I'd have a chest full of golden furniture if I had. And I just don't recall ever having one. So, yeah. Maybe in the next episode we could go ahead and get some more events going. Maybe we'll do the solo clips again. See if we can get ourselves the Terror Blade. And then see if we can get ourselves the Black Spot as well. Hey, eh? A nice event grindy action packed episode of epicness. What do you guys think? I think we're overdue one. I really, really do. But then, anyway, my friends, it is time, of course, to wrap up the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's nice action packed episode, and of course, you're excited to see more, do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks so much for watching, my friends. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for all of your support. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.